Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. On the Arrowverse today, we're going to be answering your questions. You guys sent in some questions in regards to Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman officially being cancelled. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, and if it is informative, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any future DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so I asked you guys on my community tab to send in questions if you had any questions about Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman ending officially or being officially cancelled and you guys have sent in like a whole bunch of questions I'm gonna be answering them some of them are kind of similar but I've tried to pick as different ones as possible obviously all of us have very similar questions right now and even like if you check over on Twitter there is people you know completely outraged by all of this and they've been tweeting at like HBO Max, like asking HBO Max for help. And some people even got a response from them. So there is definitely the potential for another network, maybe something like HBO Max to pick it up instead of being on the CW. However, I'm not going to get your hopes and expectations up for that, but I will be addressing the HBO Max in all of this situation throughout this video. But before we go into your questions, just a quick rundown on what happened in the last couple of days. So literally two nights ago, we got official word first off that Batwoman season three was going to be the final season and that season four had been cancelled. So we have 51 episodes and that's it. You're going to get no more Batwoman episodes. And so that news was brought to the whole world by some trades, but also the showrunner of Batwoman, Caroline Dries. And so that came as a shock to everyone because everyone was like, okay, you know, the CW has never cancelled an Arrowverse show, so they're not going to do it now. However, that's not true. They literally went ahead and did it. And then they did it once again, like a couple of hours later, they announced later in the evening that Legends of Tomorrow is cancelled and that Legends isn't going to get another season past season seven. So there is no season eight and they are both going to be completely done like you're going to have no explanation as to the way that they ended their seasons you're going to see no more episodes and obviously as i said in those videos if you haven't seen them go check them out they're on the channel they're the previous videos that were uploaded i think that it's very bad that they did this because they didn't give them an opportunity and now it sets a bad precedent for the rest of the universe but we'll be addressing all of this as we answer your questions so the first question comes from Omeo Ilarin on YouTube who asks, the simple solution would be to move all of the Arrowverse shows to HBO Max, let DC Legends and even Batwoman have their final seasons, take all the DC properties from Netflix and move them to HBO Max, DC needs to be under one roof and we need a combined DC EU across TV and movies. So thanks for the question and I think your statement more so than a question is actually quite a good solution. However, I don't think it's as easy as just moving everything over to HBO Max because the CW literally runs off the Arrowverse. It runs off shows like Arrow, Superman, Lois, and obviously it has its own shows like Riverdale and everything like that that does very well for the network. So that means it's going to be hard to move everything to HBO Max. But you have to remember they actually have deals with HBO Max for shows like Superman, Lois, and Stargirl that they will show them on HBO Max and the CW. And I think that is actually the future for the Arrowverse. You're going to see them on both sides, so on network television and also on streaming with HBO Max. And so I don't know what's going on with Netflix, so I can't really comment on that. But I guess at one point all of the shows will move to HBO Max, but that will be after the season's air. And so, although I kind of agree it would be nice to have DC shows under one roof and connecting it properly to the DCEU, I don't think it's actually going to be happening. However, there is always the chance that something like HBO Max could definitely pick up the now cancelled shows because it's happened many times. Like, Lucifer, I believe, was cancelled or is going to end and then it got picked up by Netflix. And so, there is definitely the precedent for that, and like I mentioned with the HBO Max Twitter thing, there was actually some people that tweeted at them and they said that they would bring it up, so we'll see if that actually happens, but I kind of think it's not that likely. Let's move on to the next question. This comes from Master Jedi on YouTube who asks, Question for Legends. Do you think in some way they could bring back Sarah Lance to The Flash since she started on Arrow and has appeared on The Flash a couple of times 
that would be great, especially with the connection that Barry and Sarah share with Oliver. So, I like this, and I definitely would not rule this out. I would not rule any characters from Legends of Tomorrow never coming back. Just because they cancelled the show doesn't mean that they don't exist in the Arrowverse all of a sudden. I mean, I mentioned this in my video just yesterday, but they literally just did a crossover comic and the Legends issue is literally about to come out. So that's going to be your last kind of snippet into Legends of Tomorrow. However, those characters will live on and they will return. Like, even when Supergirl ended, you had Alex Danvers returning. John Diggle has come back many times after Arrow ended. Black Lightning came back too. So there is precedent for characters in shows that have ended to officially come back. However, the one difference is this time, Sarah is on a show that was cancelled and did not end on their own right, so maybe the network doesn't value such a character as much as a show that they were kind enough to let the show end. However, Sarah's been around for such a long time, and as you rightfully point out, she's been on Arrow, she came from Arrow, and she was on The Flash. She's been around for such a long time that I feel like if they want her to come back, and if, you know, the actress wants to come back, Katie Lotz, she can totally come back in a crossover, maybe on The Flash or Superman Lois or anything like that. So, yeah, definitely could happen, and I think it's actually very likely she will come back. Okay, let's move on to the next question. This comes from Tevya on YouTube who asks, Question number one, with Legends of Tomorrow and Batwoman now cancelled and The Flash reaching the finish line, I am just wondering, what do you think is going to happen to Superman Lois and Stargirl? Because personally, I'm very scared for two of my favourite shows getting the axe. I think this is a very valid question. However, I would not worry about Superman Lois because Superman Lois is doing great for the CW and it's also got the HBO Max deal. So, like I said, it's got both of those sides backing it. And if one doesn't want it, it can literally just go to the other. So, like, if the CW doesn't want Superman Lois anymore, which would be stupid if they didn't want it, it can just go over to HBO Max and continue on there. And same thing goes for Stargirl, because Stargirl is part of that deal, and it was the first show to make that deal with the CW and HBO Max, so that it airs on both of the different platforms. And so I think they are both pretty secure right now. I wouldn't be too scared about it. And, you know, with The Flash, obviously, it is reaching its end, but I don't think it's going to go away, like, right now. So, definitely Season 9 and probably Season 10. Okay, so question 2. The Arrowverse is getting smaller and smaller with each passing show going bye-bye. I am just wondering, if the Arrowverse does come to an end, how would you end the Arrowverse and which story would you adapt to give the Arrowverse a proper send-off? So, I think this is a great question, because I've never been asked this question before, and I've never actually thought about it. Because in my mind, when I think of the Arrowverse, I think of it as this huge, expansive multiverse of shows, and it will always continue on. Because that's just the way that we've been used to the Arrowverse, like we had Arrow, then we got The Flash, and then we got Supergirl, and then we got Legends of Tomorrow, and then eventually we got Superman and Lois, and it kept on growing and growing and growing, and it keeps on growing, and we do have potential new shows coming like Gotham Knights and also Justice You with John Diggle. So in my mind, I'm like, I don't think the Arrowverse can end. Like, there is too many shows. Unless the network and HBO Max eventually, because you would presume most of the future shows have that deal with HBO Max, are completely done with the Arrowverse, I don't see it happening because it's so popular and DC is such a hot property, and with the DCEU being big, they want to continue creating those ties to the Arrowverse and expand it beyond what it is even right now. So, in answer to your question, yes, the Arrowverse seems to get smaller and smaller at the moment, but I think it will continue to grow. However, I will answer your question in regards to if the Arrowverse does come to an end, a big hypothetical, how would you end the Arrowverse and which story would you adapt to give the Arrowverse a proper send-off? Well, I think the only possible way to end the Arrowverse as a whole 
would be to do a huge crossover. Now that is the only way because you have all of the characters coming back like Arrow, like Supergirl, like Black Lightning, all of those guys, they would all come back. You would have this big crossover. I don't know what show would still be around and that it would air on. However, everyone would be back. That would be the way to send them off and to give them one final mission. I don't know what type of comic book story I would do, but some sort of crisis level event, but that would end in a way that wasn't bad and everyone died, but instead kind of cemented the Arrow vs Legacy, that's what I would go for. So thank you very much for the questions, I really appreciate it, some great questions there, Tevya. Okay, so our watch on YouTube asks, do you think Legends would ever come back, or is it possible they have a conclusion in the form of an HBO Max movie slash hour special, or in the comics? So. I think Legends is unlikely to come back, like I mentioned earlier, there is always HBO Max that could pick it up if they are interested in it, however I'm not sure how interested they might be, but we'll have to wait and see for the future. But I like your idea of potentially an HBO Max movie or like an hour special to end off the show. I think this is a great idea and I personally think this would be great for both Batwoman and Legends. But it is unprecedented because it's never happened before and like I said, no Arava show has been cancelled so we've never had to go through this situation. But if you look at a show like Constantine, we never got the answer to the cliffhanger at the end of season 1, but that was on NBC. However, he did return and join the Arrowverse, and you kind of got an answer to what was going on with him there, although it wasn't like a cut and dry answer. I do think that opens the possibility for, you know, Legends to come back and maybe to get some sort of answers into, you know, where the characters go off and where they're at right now. And I think in the form of, like, a special would be the best opportunity. However, I do see maybe the comics as a very viable option considering that the Arrowverse is officially canon in the comics and it's going to be pretty successful, I think, for DC Comics, so that is definitely a possible route. Okay, thanks for the question, let's move on to the next one, this comes from Lionel Jacobs on YouTube who asks, In your opinion, if Supergirl had gone beyond Season 6, do you think we would be in the same boat now as Batwoman and Legends? Would Supergirl have probably been cancelled anyway after a Season 7? And in the long run, was it better to end in Season 6 under its own terms where we got 20 planned final episodes in the season and an actual ending versus an extra season with a cancellation looming over it and a possible unresolved cliffhanger ending such as Legends or a story setup like Batwoman which will never be dealt with? Would you trade one less season but with an actual conclusion over one extra season with the situation Batwoman and Legends ended up in. So this is actually my favourite question out of them all. Sorry for the favouritism, but this is a fantastically worded question, Lionel, and it definitely plays into the bigger question of is it better to end a show on their own terms but have, like, less seasons, or is it better to continue the show but also be in that kind of middle grey area where you're like, are we gonna get cancelled? Are we gonna be able to end the show properly? And I think bringing up the idea of Supergirl, if it had gone beyond season 6, would it be in the same situation? So right now, as far as I am aware, I don't think Supergirl would be in the same situation, just considering that the show has been around for such a long time. Just like Legends, I have to point that out, so you know, there is precedent for a show being around for a long time to get cancelled. However, Supergirl has a stronger fan base and also the fan base is big and watches the show and the ratings were better than Legends and there was a stronger connection with The Flash and some of the big popular shows like Superman and Lois whereas something like Legends was a bit more on the jokey side and was less attached to the rest of the Arrowverse that I feel like Supergirl was probably a bit more valuable for the Arrowverse as a whole. Again, that is just me making assumptions. I could be completely wrong about what the CW thinks about all of this. And I don't think Supergirl would have got cancelled, but I think ending a show on its own terms, and Supergirl was extremely lucky that it had 20 episodes to end the show, and that's exactly how they planned to end it. 
I think was the best possible scenario and so I think it's a huge shame like I mentioned before that Legends and Batwoman never got to actually properly end the show because like you mentioned Legends ended up with a cliffhanger slash unresolved ending and then Batwoman ended up with a story setup that was supposed to be dealt with in the next season but that's never going to be dealt with and those questions are going to stick in fans minds forever and it gives a bad future reputation for shows like Batwoman and Legends who got cancelled because if you look back to a show like Constantine that got cancelled you always think about oh we never got a continuation of this rather than thinking oh yeah that was a good season like because cancellations are huge things and that's what people think about sadly enough okay let's move on to the next question from n8 mub on youtube who asks i'm wondering what happens with storyline of batwoman and legends of tomorrow as they both ended with a cliffhanger so like i said this is a similar question but basically we're not going to get an answer to what happened at the end of both of their seasons the only way that we get a continuation is again a constantine situation where the characters show up on another show and give the kind of brief answer of where all the other characters are at and where those storylines actually went off to or like i mentioned before doing a comic book story as a kind of finale for the show would be probably the best option in terms of like they get more amount of time to actually discover and explore that story but this time in the form of a comic okay so let's move on to the next question so i really don't know how to pronounce your name sorry about that i can only read in english however a subscriber asked would it be possible for netflix or another service to pick it up that being legends and batwoman like what happened to lucifer so i mentioned the example of lucifer earlier and let's talk about this so let's ignore hbo max because we talked about hbo max but could another service or network pick it up so i don't think any other tv network is going to pick up any of the shows However, something like Netflix could be a possible option considering if they think the shows are valuable. And I'm not sure as of right now if Legends and Batwoman have a deal with HBO Max. The only way that they could end up on Netflix would be if they had no connection to HBO Max, which I think they actually have. So I think we're really relying on HBO Max for a potential future of these shows. Okay, so the next question comes from Diego on YouTube who asks, Question 1. What the F is wrong with Discovery? So, if you guys didn't know, Warner Brothers was just brought out, and apparently this is part of their movements. And so, obviously, the CW is a joint venture between CBS and Warner Brothers, so Warner Brothers does have some say, and also it's a Warner Brothers production, all of the Arrowverse shows, because if you didn't know, some of the other shows in the CW's network are actually run by CBS rather than Warner Brothers. However, because Warner Bros. owns DC and owns the rights to the characters, they are Warner Brothers television productions. And so it's possible that with Discovery coming in, they looked at all of their TV content and they thought, okay, the ratings and, you know, the social media following for these shows aren't as strong as something like The Flash and Superman Lois so let's cancel it so i don't know if it is exactly the decision of the people in discovery who have taken over warner brothers but definitely you can see some correlation between them coming in and the show's ending i mean like you got two who shows ending at once so that's no coincidence i don't think okay so let's move on we've got like four or five more questions i know this is a big q a video but we gotta do it because all of you guys have so many questions about the cancellations so yulio on youtube asks first arrow is gone then supergirl then black lightning swamp thing legends and now batwoman who's next on the chopping block so indeed who is next well i think if you look at any hour of a show right now you have to say naomi and I know I feel incredibly bad about saying that, considering it's literally just in its first season. However, it is not doing very well, and I hear nothing about it on social media, which is a huge shame, because Naomi in the comics is really cool. So, I think, logically speaking, you would have to say Naomi is very much so in risk if the network doesn't deem it profitable or valuable for the network. So... Yeah, that is definitely my answer as of right now. 
So actually, we only have one more question, and this question comes from Mayata, who on YouTube asks, Oh well, the show's ended, but they are going to mention Supergirl in the finale for Superman Lois. So, yeah, one good thing about a show ending, you do get references to the show, and so you do find out what maybe the characters are doing. I know it's not like the best thing that, you know, the shows are ending, however it is nice once the shows have ended and it's been a while like Supergirl for them to get reference and get news like in Superman and Lois's finale, we're going to be getting a Supergirl reference about, you know, what's going on with her a little bit at least and maybe a Flash reference. That is exciting for us fans of such a show like Supergirl and I really do hope in the future Legends and Batwoman get some sort of ending, whether it be in the comic books, in future crossovers, or maybe a potential HBO Max pickup. I really do hope that becomes a reality. But thank you guys so much for watching. This has been quite a long video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. It's a big Q&A video. I felt like I had to do this and answer a lot of your questions, more so than usual. If you have any questions that you want to send in and be featured in a future Q&A video, please be sure to go over to the community tab right now and comment your question because I've posted a new post there where you can reply under the post. But for now, if you did enjoy it, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It really helps out the channel. And also, if you can share the video on social media or to your friends, maybe if they've been hearing about the news and they want to get some answers about what potentially could happen in the future, share this video. Also, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. We are uploading a lot because we are back to a normal schedule, at least a video once every two days also streaming on Thursdays. Final thing, click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my video on Legends' cancellation. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.